isn't this place and this music just so pretty? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sonic Classic Heroes. I'm your LP here for today, capital G. And we begin with a little secret here, invincibility and lots and lots of rings. 30 rings to start. Let's see if you can hold on to them, shall we? Uh, the Starlight Zone is very, very fast compared to... Even Green Hell Zone, this is faster than Green Hell Zone. It's got the loop-de-loops, it's got lots of room. It's got that guy who's actually kind of dangerous. And lots of places to go visit and explore. We can go up, we can go down. Um, the only real guy with all fireballs! Ah, so we didn't keep the ring. Oh well. Now, there are a lot of uh, moving platforms in this stage. But uh, other than that, there's no real gimmicks. Just a fun, fast, relaxing stage. After the stress hit is a lavin zone. We need this. These stages you're gonna find are very, very short. We can blow through them very quickly. Like, I'm gonna be taking my sweet time through this, and... Well, as I said, these stages are short. They'll be over before you, reali before you realize it happens. Yeah, a little copy-and-paste design there, though. That's what I find in the zone. There's a lot of copy-paste. Like, you'll find the same... ...obstacles everywhere, and... Well, guess what? As I told you, we're at the end of a stage before we even know it. That's Act 1 of Starlight Zone already. So yeah, I would definitely like this place. The copy-paste aspect is a little... It's a little obvious, shall we say. But it's still a fun zone to play through, nonetheless. Certainly very different, it's not a specific theme or anything. It's just wide open, you can see the stars on the back, they look real pretty. You can make you can even make a wish on them and you might even get your wish granted. Oh, I wish I would I wish I might keep my rings. Never mind. I lost my rings like during the prayer. Not good. But yeah, cool music. Like this was like a favorite song of mine. Initially, but really, um, Spring Yard Zone holds up a lot better. That's just me. All the music is kind of dated, very, very early 90s. Very early 90s. So, not all the tunes in this game have aged very well. Oh no! Dodge. Let's go this way instead. I was gonna be way too. working way too hard for going high in the other direction. And this one's also done already! And it probably would have been worth it to get those rings, because all of a sudden I just went through the first two acts of Starlight Zone without even getting a special stage. Now, if you're playing the regular Sonic 1, Starlight Zone is the last possible place where you can collect Chaos Emeralds. This being, the, this, this being the ROM hack which combines Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, there's more stages to play, so that's not true in this situation. Yipes! Not a lot of- oh no! There wasn't a lot of room there, what can I tell you? Let's try that again! Without the fail, please! Anyways, on we go here. It sounds like, you're too slow! Leaving his team behind, like he always does. As far as he's concerned, it's a race and his opponents are knuckles and tails. Okay, I'm making crap up, but still. Boom, we get these little... Yipes! I jumped into the bomb to avoid falling. And the invisibility only kicked in afterwards. Yeah, here's the speed of the zone. Lots and lots of these uh, loopy loops. And 
forward leaning springs. Like this ditch lets you really experience Sonic's actual speed. Homing shield! We actually have protection for our rings. So, let's continue on this way. See if we can find us a lamppost or three. And get those last soul emeralds. We only have two more to go. Boing! Onwards. I don't I, you know, I like this place. It is kind of dull. Next tag. Knuckles, go! I just wait for those bombs to explode. Choose the shrapnel and then see if we can get past this guy here. Slow moving orb dude. Orb or not. Oh wait, it's through the shield blocks. This Duh. Yes, finally, a special stage. Yet another attempt at the green soul emerald. I think this is attempt three, if I'm counting correctly. Ding ding. Bombs off one side, rings to the other. It's just jump across. Oh, guys, remember, they're not, they, they want a lot of rings and they're not very generous with them in this section. Not, in the, not at all. Oops! Remember, this involves lots of memorizing. And lots of not being fed up with this special stage. I am kind of fed up with this one. Just kind of. Next time. But it looks like it's going to be a while before we get another shot at Chaos Emeralds, and that's... Kind of, that kind of sucks. And here's Robotnik. Boom! And this battle's kind of different. Like, if you're playing regular Sonic 1, you wouldn't be able to damage him just by jumping. You would have to either launch the spikes back into him, or let the spikes land on the other end of the seesaw and propel you into Robotnik's... Think about Bobby, his carrier. His transport. His face. His mustache. His everything. Anyways. Boom, done. But yeah, I'm gonna be calling him Robotnik instead of Eggman simply because A, that's how I know him, B, that's what he was called in North America at the time of the original games. Anyways, that was quick. Very, very quick. I will see you in the next act. Later.